You're full of it, Bailey. But I did what your so-called contract asks. Three international superstars defeated. Shall I ask Mandy to set the title match, or would you like to do the honors? As much as I hate to admit it, I am impressed. Congratulations. You know, I've said it from the start, this Intercontinental Championship is a very prestigious title. After all, I hold it. But you've done the work, so I'll talk to Mandy. Wait, so you're really not gonna try to weasel out of this? What kind of champion do you think I am? After all, you fulfilled the requirements of the contract exactly, and you know how much I respect official championship contract law. Right. Oh, but speaking of, there is one thing I forgot to mention. Since it is an international title, you know how when you apply for your passport or a visa, there's a waiting period before you get it? Yeah, the title contract actually also specifies a lengthy waiting period before we can set up the match you qualified for. You're kidding me. No, you're probably actually serious, aren't you? Aw, uh, don't worry. It'll go by fast. I mean, by the time the waiting period is over, I'll have probably broken the record as the longest reigning intercontinental champion ever, male or female. But to you, it will seem like the blink of the eye. I mean, heck, I guess there's a chance that you might not even be in WWE by then. So I don't know. Feel free to send me a card or something, or congratulate me on social media since you'll be retired. Hashtag longest reigning IC champion sounds good. Thanks. Can't wait to hear from you then. Toodles.